Hey, hey there everybody, how you doing? It's me, Waddles, and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 31. Big day, gamers, big day. Today we're gonna explore in the nether, it's gonna be sweet. But, before we head over to the nether, we need to do a couple things. Thing number one, we need to hit the like button. Okay, check, cool, nice. Thing number two, we need to gather the supplies. But before we do thing number two, we need to do thing number one and a half, which is, look at this beautiful house. I've been decorating, it's been too long that it's just plain and empty and open, so I'm slowly making progress. Slowly, but, but surely, definitely. So, uh, torch on the floor, embarrassing. I'm sorry that you guys had to look at it so long. Lantern on the floor, much better. Uh, so over here, I did a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of decorating. We've got a coat hook, we've got a painting with a cool person on it. We've got, we've got like a, a thing with, with another thing on it. We have a couch over here, a blue couch, custom made, pretty sweet. And then up here is where I'll be keeping all of the comments of the day books. Oh yes, look at this. So, uh, if you caught my video about Java Edition capes, big hype by the way, I was mining in it. This is what I mined out, pretty much. A lot of cobblestone too, maybe a little bit more or less coal, but about four blocks of coal. And so, this brings our diamond count up to four blocks and one more diamond. Looking pretty good. So today, we're going to explore in the nether. First things first, potions. We're going to need some more potions of night vision. The night vision potions are helping out a big time in the nether, especially when exploring. These are going to be amazing. I always, always, always forget about the water bottles, but there we go. Boom, nether wart, you go back up there. We'll go ahead and let that cook up, and then I'll throw our golden carrot in there so we have three potions of night vision. Now, we're also going to want to not lose our nether hub, right? Yeah, yeah, right definitely that sounds like a pretty solid idea so the ancient debris it's finally time to cook this stuff up today we're going to craft a brand new block a block that we have never actually crafted before this block is also crazy crazy expensive but while we wait for that to smelt up we can actually go ahead and craft another thing that we're gonna need this other thing is going to be used to control our nether speed ship of course the strider we're gonna use striders today striders are about the most amazing thing in the nether update and if you want to control one you're going to need a warp fungus on a stick so this thing right here is just like a carrot on a stick but even better for the strider we will also need a saddle there's one saddle here i have more saddles back over at the starter base but one saddle that's all we need now the ancient debris is finished so we can go ahead and pull that out or, or i should say the netherite scrap uh yeah that stuff now we need a netherite ingot and then we actually need to go over here because we need eight chiseled stone bricks back over to the crafting table for a second and boom lodestone there we go we'll talk about the lodestone once we're in the nether though alongside the lodestone we're going to need a compass and today 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 i'd like to actually not aggravate the piglin so let's see what could we do without maybe maybe the netherite helmet we'll make a gold helmet instead and the potions are ready to go with that i think we have everything that we need now let's slide over to that beautiful brand new nether hub i'm in love with this nether hub elite so i'm absolutely in love with it i think this is like the best nether hub that i've ever created but enough with the nether hub so uh check this out i have a map i use it in the nether and i get this weird looking thing right here uh check this out too my movement i'm walking in a straight line but the map is literally just not i don't even know what my cursor is doing over there it's being weird yeah, uh, maps in the nether, they don't really actually work. Now, this is a cool design, so hold on. I'm going to actually go ahead and fill this thing in. Okay, so uh, check this out. Item frame, map, boom. Cool design, but completely useless in the nether. Maps don't work. So if we want to keep track of our location, we're going to need something else. That alternative is a whole lot more expensive, but also probably a whole lot more cool. Check this out. This is a lodestone right here. We place the lodestone down, and it sits there, and it looks pretty sweet. But if we grab a compass and use the compass on the lodestone, boom, we get an advancement, which is pretty cool. We've got to be doing pretty good on these things by now. But uh, more importantly, we get a lodestone compass. So check the hot bar. That compass is pointing right at the lodestone. If I move over here, the compass is, uh, if I move over here, uh-huh, uh-huh, you see the compass, it's moving, it's still pointing, okay. If I turn, you see that? Yeah, the, the compass always points towards the lodestone. That's what I'm trying to show you. So, whenever we're exploring, if we keep this lodestone compass on us, which we should probably name to like Nether Hub or something, then if we get lost, we could always grab this compass and it'll point us towards the lodestone and therefore another hub. 
If you're trying to not get lost in the nether, lodestone compasses are seriously big brain. So there we go. Lodestone compass will keep that in our inventory. Lodestones do work in the nether, but they also will work in the overworld and in the end, if you have something that you need marking in those dimensions. All right, so today we're going to explore, but we're also going to barter a little bit. I'd like to hopefully, first things first, find a piglin and barter with a piglin because I would love to actually be able to craft a respawn anchor. And if we want to make a respawn anchor, we need glowstone, but I could find glowstone. Uh, but more importantly, we need Crying Obsidian, which I can't find, at least not so easily. So, uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, we're in the Nether Waste biome, so hopefully we should be able to find one somewhere. They can spawn in this biome. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, these are zombified ones. Not exactly the type of piglin that I'm looking for. Maybe up here. Maybe we can find one. I have gold on, so thankfully they won't get mad at me. But I just need to find one, and then we can give some gold to the piglin. We have bartered with the piglins before, but I just don't think I ever got any crying obsidian. Um, do I see any anywhere? They're all zombified right now. This whole piglin bartering stuff might just have to wait. Okay, so unfortunately, no luck in finding a piglin right now. We'll find one eventually, though. We'll be able to barter before the end of the video. Now let's talk about striders. And conveniently, we have a stri- Ooh, a strider with a saddle sitting around over there. All we need to do is lure this guy over to the land, and then we can jump on it and cruise around the nether. Now, why does that strider have a saddle? Well, I'm guessing, I'm betting that that strider spawned with a zombified piglin on top of it, and then something happened to the zombified piglin. I'm looking at that lava fall, I'm guessing the strider walked into the lava fall and climbed it apparently, and then toasted up the zombified piglin. These guys can't handle lava, but they, they clearly can handle lava. No, uh, how are we gonna get over to that guy? Uh, we could probably just dig a little bit here and, and reach it, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, but I have no clue where it's going. We need to get to that guy before it climbs away. Strider, get back here. Get back here. No, my boy, my boy. Where are you going? Don't climb all the way up there. Uh, it's way too far for him to see this, right? Yeah, you can't see this. Okay, well, this is an interesting plot twist. I'm thinking that we could maybe move up there, push the strider off of the ledge back down into the lava, then climb back down here and get on the strider. We don't need the strider up there. All right, we've made it up here. Now, where is the strider? Did the strider keep climbing or did it drop back down? It probably would drop back down as soon as I get up here. Where'd you go, strider? Are you up here? No, you're not up here. Of course you're not. Of course you're not. You're probably back down there, aren't you? Are you? Yep, of course you are. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, Strider. But hey, look, it looks like we have a we have a basalt deltas right there. That's sweet. But <laughs> the Strider, if the Strider could get back to me, this is this is painful. Oh, Strider, you're mine now. You are mine now. All we need to do is create a pathway down to you. Hey, buddy, don't walk too far away. No, 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 no. You stay over here. Hey, look, 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 look. This is for you, for you. You love this. You love it. Come on, come on, come over here. Okay, we're just a little bit too far away from the Strider. Let's go. No, buddy. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll make a bridge to you, Strider. I see how you are. I see how you are. But eventually, you're going to realize that I'm holding this magical warp fungus on a stick, and you're going to love it. And you're going to come over to me. That's how it's going to go. Trust me, Strider. Trust me. Now that I'm thinking about it, though, we're in a. This Strider is in like an isolated lava pool. Not exactly the best Strider. But perfect. The Strider has finally noticed me. So, uh, once we get the Strider, maybe like over to here, this is a little bit safer. We can actually jump on top of the Strider. Boom, and just like that. Now, we need to be careful. This warp fungus on a stick is basically controlling the Strider. If I look this way, the Strider is going to go that way. If I look this way, it's going to go that way. Now, we need to watch out for the lava. We don't have any fire resistance other than the fire resistance on our leggings. So, yeah, we definitely can't just walk into lava balls. That would be really, really dangerous. Now, the Strider, on the other hand, Striders can handle all types of lava. I mean, clearly, these weird nether creatures can walk on lava. They can climb lava falls. Lava, not a problem problem for the strider. Today, what we're going to do is use the strider to travel around the nether and hopefully find two major structures that I'm looking for. We're looking for a bastion and we're looking for a nether fortress. The nether fortress is definitely the important one, but a bastion would be really, really cool too because I'd love to check one out. So I think what we're going to try and do is use the strider to walk, you know, do we want to go back up and back down or do I just want to try and cut through? I think we could maybe just cut right through here. Strider, you're gonna have to wait here. 
when you're ready to get off of the strider, just crouch and you'll jump right off of the thing. Now, I've trapped it in that spot right there so I can dig right through this mountain. Then, hopefully, I'll be able to hit the lava ocean that's over on this side, get the strider, and then cruise and go through the lava ocean and everything will be sweet. No, I definitely don't want to suffocate and I can't remember if two blocks high is too tall for the strider. So what we'll do is we'll just make this three blocks high and then somewhere eventually we'll hit the other side. Uh, probably, okay, yep, exactly, the other side. Then all I need to do is make a staircase down, and oh my gosh, that is a lot of striders. Strider boy, let's go, let's go, strider. Okay, I've dug the tunnel most of the way. Now, usually, when riding a strider, I highly advise uh, against jumping off of jumps, like like big drops or anything like that. It, it can just basically end badly, but I think I have a drop that should be a safe drop right here, hopefully out a little bit of damage is this safe is this safe <gasps> it's safe oh yeah that's exactly what we needed now all i need to do is get this strider to stand right over here and i can build a staircase so i can move right back up later on but you see that drop right there oh yep striders can get on top of striders too <laughs> uh strider can spawn with a baby strider on it and the baby strider can grow up and sit on the strider now, uh, gases are basically gonna be your number one enemy when you're on the strider, so just be careful. If you hear a gas, it's probably a good idea to, to stop and take a look around. Okay, well, because I can't build down uh, while I'm on a strider, you know, I can't see under blocks. This is what I'm doing. I'm building off of this wall right here to connect up to the staircase so then I can get back up later on. Uh-huh, that's, that's perfect. It's low tech, but it, but it works. It's good. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. We got some speed. Actually, it was accidental though. So now it's time to cruise around on the Strider and see what we have near here. Uh, the first big thing though that I always heavily advise you to do when you're riding a Strider is Potion of Fire. <gasps> Bastion. Bastion, 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 oh my gosh, and it's so close to us. Have I seen this Bastion before? I don't think I've seen this Bastion before. And if I have seen it, I'm definitely forgetting about it because I don't remember that Bastion. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, well, that's where a Bastion is. Now we just need another fortress and that's another climbing strider. Of course it is. Uh, anyways, highly advise that while you're riding a strider, you have some fire resistance for sure, like a potion of fire resistance. That would probably be like a big brain genius idea, but... I don't have the ingredient to make one of those potions. I can't brew one. Uh, you need a magma cream. Also, if possible, potion of night vision. Those are great too. Now, uh, we need to be careful. If we hit crouch, we're going to go into the lava. And that's a terrifying thought. So I cannot hit crouch, not at all. Also, while riding the strider, doing this is a pretty good idea if you're on Java Edition. If you put the warp fungus on a stick in your offhand, then you can actually use your bow and like shoot things and you can look around and break blocks and things like that and the strider will keep going. On Java Edition, if you put the warp fungus on a stick away, the strider will stand still and just wait for you to tell it to do something. On Bedrock Edition, they'll kind of go back to wandering. Now the speed boost that I got a little while ago, how did I get it? Well, that's actually pretty simple. If I use the warp fungus on a stick, the strider will actually start all out sprinting, which is pretty sweet. Now, un unfortunately, it looks like I'm in a closed pool of lava over here too. I thought this was gonna be like a big ocean. Striders are definitely best in the lava ocean. They move a whole lot slower across land. So, what I want to see is, okay, there's a gas right there. Yep, what I want to see is if I can get rid of that gas, is that, that looks like a gigantic bastion. Okay, we need to get a little closer to that bastion, but the gas definitely needs to go away. One blast from this gas, and I'm done. And that's definitely not the plan. Okay, did you despawn? It really despawned. Okay, well, now we can move up on the bastion. This looks gigantic. Is this the bastion with a spawner in it? Uh, unfortunately not. I don't think so. But it's going to have at least some loot down there, which is going to be cool. This might be a spawner one. I don't think it is. No, I think this is like the stables. But also, fortunately, it looks like this continues out this way. Oh, oh, advancement. I didn't even go there, but thanks, Minecraft. So the Strider in the Soul Sand Valley without a potion of fire resistance is a terrible idea because gas spawn like crazy in this biome all over the place. This is asking for something bad to happen. I also uh, went in the Soul Sand Valley biome, need to be careful about the land because of skeletons. And yeah, again, things shooting at you while you're on a strider, bad call, bad idea, but I need to see. Is there another fortress over here? We're looking for another fortress now. The Bastion, pretty much done. I need a close nether fortress so I can set up some farms. And the nether fortress, if it's closer to where I am, 
Well, then that's definitely better. Uh, now, have I ever explored around here? I, I don't think I have. I think I explored by the main base, but never, never over here. And, uh, by main base, I mean, like, the old starter base. Is that a leg? No. No, that's just a ruined portal, which is pretty sweet. Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing any nether fortress legs down here. I was thinking that we could walk around in the lava ocean and maybe, maybe, just maybe, get lucky and actually find, you know, like the legs to the nether fortress and then, then we know there's a nether fortress. But hold on, we want to actually stop over here. So I'm going to put that away and move right up next to this. Hopefully the gas doesn't see me. Uh, apparently I'm in the thing. That's weird. Uh, what we want to do is just dig this a hey, stop walking stop walking what we want to do is just dig this block out i could take that thank you very much crying obsidian that's one down there's still a couple more pieces to go five but one that's definitely better than nothing come on you take forever to mine any second now boom there we go first crying obsidian of the world now is there a loot chest here there should be uh but i can't see oh there it is there it is any more in here no, uh, but some golden melons. I'll take those. Cool. And some enchanted gold armor. That's nice. I mean, I'll take it. I'll probably end up... Or you know what? No, I could just drop this stuff. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving. Let's see if we can find any sign of another fortress over here. And if not, we'll turn around and go the other way. So... Nether fortress. Ooh, ooh, nether fortress. Found one. Found another fortress in the Soul Sand Valley. This is a terrible place to be with a strider. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But a nether fortress is literally right here. Okay. And what is that? Is that a warp forest? Uh, yeah, that's warped. And there's piglins over there. Okay. Well, we found our nether fortress elites, and this can't be too far from our base. Not at all. I'm going to need the coordinates for this one. Okay. All right, I think I got it. All right, well, Nether Fortress down, but the blaze have found me, so we're out of here. That's enough of the Nether Fortress for now. I know where it is. Now I need to see if I can trace my steps right back to that staircase that I made. If I can, we're golden. I think I can. I think I can just go pretty much right along this, this edge right here, and I think it'll lead me right back, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, around the bend. Okay, okay, we're gonna stay away from the land just in case any skeletons spawn. And this way, yep, there's the bastion. Okay, this is like really close to our base too. All we'll need to do is dig like a straight tunnel over there. That should be pretty good. Now, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to find a blaze spawner inside of that fortress. The blaze spawner is the big reason that we're looking for that. We wanna make a blaze farm ASAP here. But, uh, there's a gas. You can just, uh, keep swimming in the lava. Let's go away, nether squid. All right, he sees me. It's on. It's on. We need to get rid of that. Hey, 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 enough with the strider. Enough with my strider. Not my strider. Not my strider. Okay. I don't know why I was taking no damage in the strider, too, but I saved you, buddy. I saved you, strider. I see the stack strider. There's the staircase. Super, super close. Easy. All right, so I think what I want to do is actually make a little bit of a strider um, docking area in a second. But first, we need, definitely need to do a little bit of bartering. That's the final thing that I need to accomplish today. We need to respawn anchor so we can set our spawn over at the base. So, strider, you're going to wait right in here. That's perfect. Uh, all right, we're out. You stay there. Don't go away, please. I don't have a name tag to use on you. Just don't go away. Piglin, this is kind of perfect. This literally couldn't be any more perfect. Hey, you, buddy, 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 buddy. I know you want to barter with me. There you go. Let's go ahead and get rid of the fire, just in case, you know. Uh, you just don't walk over there. Okay, quartz. That's cool. I'm looking for crying obsidian, though, man. You got any crying obsidian? And actually, I don't need any of that. Crying obsidian. Nope, nope. I don't want string. I want crying obsidian, like... Give me five blocks worth of this stuff. Come on. All right. Yes, uh, bartering can be a little bit frustrating, especially when you're looking for something specific. Uh, boots. Oh, that's probably... Yeah, soul speed boots. Okay, soul speed's awesome. We'll walk faster on soul sand. They're iron, though. I don't really have any use for iron boots uh, at this point. But cool. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Oh. I don't know why I thought that was good. I literally thought there was going to be something sweet, and it was literally... Nether bricks. Uh, cool. We can craft some. Okay. Oh. Ooh. 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 Yeah. 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 Do that again. Do that again. Four more times. Gassed right there. Way too close, buddy. Way too close. You gotta go away. I'm busy over here. No. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried my best. Not cool, gas. Definitely not cool at all. You can go away. All right. Did my boy fry up? Did you fry up? You might have. You might have gone away. You might be gone. Um. Yep. I think you fried up. All right. Well. That's that for bartering, at least for now, unfortunately. Ooh, 
Magma cube. Magma cube. Okay, okay. I need to get over to that thing. If I can get that thing and take it out, then I would be able to craft some potions of fire resistance, which would be huge because we want to take on that Bastion probably next episode. Okay, okay. Uh, magma cube. Magma cube, I need you to stay exactly where you're at. I need to figure out how I can get down to you. How can I get down there? I guess I'll make a staircase right here. Magma cube, you better not despawn. I need your magma cream. I need it. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. I think this is gonna be the first magma cream of the world. I've never gotten any. And we have we have looting. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh it better not have fallen into that fire. Perfect. Okay, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drop some more. Thank you. Thank you. The small ones won't drop any, but the big ones and the medium ones will. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. We can make a lot of potions of fire resistance. That's perfect. And hey, look at you. There is another one. Let's barter a few more times. Maybe I'll get some crying obsidian. Maybe just a little bit more. Oh, look at that. It lights up. That's cool. Then, then it'll be time to build the Strider Bay. It keeps giving me garbage. It keeps giving me leather and just pointless things that I would never need. Dude, come on. Give me something great. Uh, obsidian is cool. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, no respawn anchor today. That's fine. Hey, big problem at least. I just realized now, but the sound, it's probably been missing all episode. I'm sorry about that. I fixed it now. You can hear the nether portals. You can hear the zombified piglin, the, the lava, the gas again. Yeah, um, that's my bad. So I record my videos with an Elgato game capture hooked up to my PC. Sometimes, for some reason, the sound, it, it doesn't seem to sync. And when the sound doesn't sync, I basically have to reset everything. And usually I like triple, quadruple check at the beginning of the episode, but I forgot. I'm sorry. A big rip energy, but I have made some progress, which is definitely exciting. So, basalt generator set up over here. I also set up this ladder over here. I wanted this ladder to be separate from this one. I wanted to be able to, you know, kind of just go down the ladder and not worry about going down too far. So, we have a separate ladder over here. It goes down past the basalt generator, small cave that I found right here. And then it keeps going down and down and down until we hit this open area right here. I started clearing stuff out because this is where the Strider Bay is going to go. It's going to be one block above the lava. We'll create like a, like a platform to go out towards the lava. So uh, let's see. What could we do with this house? I'm thinking that we could probably put it long ways. So uh, we do a beam right there. Then we can go one, two, three. Good. That's a good amount. And then another beam right there. Then one, two, three. Three, uh, another pillar. I, I meant pillar. I was saying pillar all along. Of course, you misheard, misheard me. me. So, uh, we have that right there. That, that'll that be the length of the build. In fact, you know what? Let's move it over one so it's centered with that. That would be nice. All right, so there's that. Then we can go one, two, three, maybe four, five, all the way back. So that'll kind of be in line there. That's cool. That's perfect. So there's five. Then we go three. There's that one. Then we go three more. Then we'll have another one right over here in this corner. Then, uh, because this is such a small space, we're going to try and do something a little bit different. So uh, coming in here along the bottom, I think what we'll do is maybe we start with with normal uh, blocks, so blackstone. So maybe just there, or you know what, you know what, you know what, we have to, we have to. We'll create a little bit of a variation. We'll do this blackstone and this blackstone this time. So uh, a little bit of this going on at the bottom. Then moving up a little bit, I think what we want to do is kind of make things go inwards a little bit. So we grab some staircases next up. So the staircases, same thing. We just kind of randomize them above these blocks, just like this. And these beams, of course, they continue upwards. And then the interesting part. So to keep this wall uh, looking good, what we could do is actually wall blocks in here. And then in the middle, we could put like iron bars to make it really, really creepy and nethery. So that'll go all the way up, maybe like too high like that. And then easy. We just go in with some more staircases upside down this time to make everything blend back outwards into the wall. But uh, down here, as you can see, I won't really be able to see out. So I'm thinking maybe we just cut that one out too. And oh, it won't connect here probably. Aha. Aha. That's a problem. Okay. You know what? You know what? Change of plans. Maybe no staircases at the bottom. We just go walls straight down to the bottom. That'll look good and it'll work. Then we could do big tall windows. We have the blocks down there. We could even make them staircases if we wanted to. Uh, but I think that's going to work. Next up, let's talk about the roof. I want to try another thing different that I wouldn't usually do here. So we start with netherrack right there. That's a temporary block, actually. Mine that out and then grab basalt. Just plain old normal basalt. I'm thinking that we could maybe do basalt just laying flat along the roof, like all the way this way. Of course, on the front, we hang it off a little bit, just like that. And then maybe we could make some kind of cool shape. So like we go up like that and then maybe... Maybe this time we go up like that and then we go up like that again. 
and then one more would be the center of the build so we could do that one and then one right there that'll probably be a pretty sweet shape I think and then yeah with the basalt like laying like this it'll look like it's like burnt or destroyed or something like that it'll be a pretty simple build it'll be a flat roof which is fine we won't see the build too much it's just a spot for our strider to live basically but yeah something like that like swooping up and then I copied it on the other side this will basically turn into a chimney that goes into the the ceiling up there mm-hmm mm-hmm that's exactly what I'm thinking I think that's pretty much everything that I want to do with the build on this flat side, I'll probably put a door or some type of door so I can get in and out of this thing so I can explore the land a little bit, which means I'll push this back a tiny bit. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking that that is going to be literally perfect. We have the big windows there so we can see out. Oh, oh, and of course, of course, I almost forgot. We're going to need like a, a boardwalk that walks out into the fire there. So probably, uh, probably more blackstone. But this time, maybe we go with blackstone bricks to to just switch it up a little bit so yeah we could do blackstone walking out uh just like this all right then uh what we could do next is maybe more blackstone kind of cutting out this way so we could create a little bay all right so this is what i have so far as the night vision goes away we would walk our strider into this block right here we could put a fence gate on the outside that would contain the strider but the question here is how do i make it so i get off of the strider and get onto the land so I could do like a slab right there and then just jump over really quick. That would probably work. It'd be a little bit risky though. Can I build down here? No, of course I can't. Ah, hmm. Yeah, we could do a slab there. That would work. If I could get a block lower down, that would be amazing. Hmm, you know what? I might be able to do this. I might be able to pull this out a little bit and then, oh, yep, that's how I do it. That's how I do it. Easy. Look at this. We can build right over to here. And then I could put a block right down here or something. Uh, maybe like blackstone and then this could walk right over and then I walk the strider in and then I get off and then I jump up here I don't think the strider would jump up I think the strider would stay so maybe something like that and then I could make that cool on the front and then it's just a simple build it's small and simple it'll be the perfect house for the striders and then maybe I could put nether ward out here to make it look cool Ooh, the ideas are flowing freely right now I've got a bunch of ideas okay I'm gonna actually just because the episode is getting so long uh, go and finish up the build now off camera. Maybe I'll speed it up. Maybe I won't and we'll be back with a finished Strider Bay Alrighty leads, it's Strider time. The Strider Bay is now officially finished and I'm in love with this build. I think it's sweet. Strider, you, a lucky day. You get to be warm again. Can you get over there? No, you can't get over that block. Okay, that's honestly probably a good sign. But Strider, you get to be warm. We need to go back to the lava. Now, I wonder if I can heal the Strider's health. The two hearts have still not been recovered. That's interesting. Maybe being in the lava will help it. Maybe I just need to feed it warp fungus, but either way, off to the Strider Bay. Now, thankfully, building the Strider Bay was pretty easy. I only got bombed once by a ghast. Uh, other than that, though, we were golden. Now, I want to get some distance on the thing so we can get a good look at it. So if we move out here and then maybe about right here, we can take a look at it. Look at that nethery build. Oh, yes, I am liking this build a lot. The build palette actually worked out. So, uh, moving up on the build, this is what we have. It's a small, like, cottage, if you will, in the nether. I planted some nether warts around it. I think that looks good. I probably should come back and change that back to soul sand. That happened when the gas shot at it, or maybe just blackstone. But, uh, overall, I am so excited about this build. I'm really feeling these nether blocks. They are really, really fun to work with. So next up, the containment area. Here's how it works. So we open the fence gate, we move in, we close the fence gate, then we move over. Oh, oi, 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 oi. Okay, it needs some work. It needs some work. Admittedly, I need to work on it a little bit. Uh, it's dangerous, but the netherite definitely saved me there. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm thinking. The strider should maybe wait around there. Hopefully, it won't move out. I put fence gates here just to be safe. I know it could technically walk up here and then walk out, but I just doubt it'll happen. So hopefully, that'll hold the striders in. I'm not too sure. We'll just have to come back and check on it after a little while of being in the nether. But uh, the inside, here's what we have. I went with the warped wood 
because I'm loving this stuff. It also matches the soul lanterns that I put around here to hopefully keep piglins away from it. I really would prefer for piglins not to be inside of the build. That would be great. And then uh, I put a little bit of uh, stuff over here. I have this brewing stand with water bottles in it already. Honestly, it's probably not going to be very useful here in the nether because, you know, no renewable water sources, but it's there. It's a decoration. We have another lodestone compass down here just in case I want to take one when exploring. Crafting table, a blast furnace, a stone cutter, you know, the basics in here. Up top, I just left everything pretty open. Hung a couple of lanterns in here. The light is pretty good in here. And yeah, uh, that's that. That's the Strider Bay building. Now, going up here, I did the same exact thing to this ladder that I did to the other ladder in the last episode. In here, we have a pretty good view of our surroundings. We can look around if we need to. Oh, oh, and I did terraform on the outside of the build so we can actually open these doors and then go exploring here if we ever wanted to. I like that we have a crimson forest really close. We could easily head over there and get more crimson wood whenever we need it if we ever want it. But uh, in terms of strider exploration, in terms of lodestones, in terms of, unfortunately, uh, not the respawn anchor, that is actually going to do it today. I need to go back down here, grab my silk touch pickaxe, it's in the ender chest, grab my blue ice, and then I'll meet you guys back over in the overworld. Time for the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is one of my favorite types of comments, the meme comments. I love seeing the meme comments. They're always great. Today's comment is this one. Diorite is useless. I said that. Uh, everyone liked that. Yep. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Granite is beautiful. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. That's where you're wrong, my friend. Granite is definitely beautiful, but that's going to do it for today's episode of the Minecraft Guide. Next episode, probably some more nether stuff, but what else do you want to see? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and today, big shout out to Wesley G. Also, don't worry. I'll take care of the birds soon. It won't be here much longer. I promise. Yeah, you.